details on how you could win the Premier League experience of a lifetime. Reality on the ground powered by Barclays. Good morning. If you've just joined us, morning at NTV. The hashtag is morning at NTV on Twitter and Facebook. Please join us. And uh, for those that are streaming live, well, good morning to you as well. And thank you very much for watching. Now, Wednesday evening. Um, let's start with, I think it was Tuesday evening. Right. When we sat down and were preparing for the show on Thursday. Uh, we didn't have this story in mind. Then Wednesday, I am going through the timeline, which is my daily thing, and I run upon a story um, uh, about Justin, the hashtag tuition for Justin. And suddenly, with not so much thought of the impact it it would, you know, uh, have on one particular individual, we decide, you know what, let's go and check out Justin, who is a UCU student who has decided to wash clothes and do fellow students tuition so that she uh, sorry um coursework so that she can raise her tuition so we decided Thursday let's go out and meet Justin and this is what happened um, uh, this lady called Justin Nanyanzi. But just to give you a little background on uh, this lady, uh, this is a message that um, she went ahead and shared on a WhatsApp group in one of um, the university WhatsApp groups. And she says, Good evening, members. I have decided to start washing clothes for anyone interested at a fair price such that I am able to survive at campus. I will be washing on Monday morning, Thursday, and Saturday. Therefore, I call upon your support. Please, I'm even willing to start tomorrow. I'm also willing to type courseworks and others at uh, 600 Uganda shillings per page. I only call upon your support, please. I feel I can't start with new people, yet you are also here. Now, this is uh, a lady by the names of uh, Justin Nanyanzi. If you are a Twitter person, if you are a social media person, you have seen the hashtag tuition for Justin. She is at uh, UCU Mukono, and she is a second-year student during Bachelor of Procurement and Logistics Management. And she has decided and shocked everyone and inspired many at the same time when she decided to, um, or sought to wash clothes and type courseworks for fellow students as a means of raising her tuition at UCU. And uh, this morning, we managed to catch up with her. It's uh, a bit chilly in Mukono, just a bit chilly, but um, we managed to catch up up with her she has um, a daily routine here we've been talking uh, and she has an interesting story so let's um, uh, catch up with Justin here Justin good morning good morning to you. how are you I'm okay, how are you? you look tired it's just morning <laughs> I look tired because in the morning I have to wake up at four I help my friend the friend I stay with she's preparing some it's okay breakfast where she stays she takes breakfast so I have to wake up at four I so that was me at UCU in Mukono at Justin's uh, place. That's where she stays. And that was the introduction to the story. Um, like I said before, little did I know that we, reality on the ground, was going to have this big impact and effect on one person. After that, of course, we, get to, we got too many calls. Our, our social media platforms were uh, swamped with messages of support and and guess what? A couple of people called in, asked for a number so that they can help Justin to raise, um, help give her a hand here and there. And Friday, Justin gets that call. There's someone that wanted to pay her tuition. And in the studios here with me today is Justin Nanyazi. Um, meeting you again. This morning thing seems to be our thing. Um, the last time around, I was unable to help you wash your clothes, but uh, now we don't need to wash clothes anymore. Uh, how we need? We, we, we are still going to wash clothes. Yes. First, take us through the details. The details, how this call came through, and who is this person that called you, and what did they do? This person is from the Aligas family. He told me that when they saw the 
when he has a brother in Nigeria, so when his brother received that message mm. on Twitter, he sent him a, a, uh, he sent him that message of the story and told him go and look for that girl. He came and saw me. Then he was like, okay, we shall do what we shall see what to do. Mm. He went back. He called me on Friday. He was like, Justin, I'm caught up, but I wanted to help you. Then on Saturday, I was in a lecture. He called me. He was like, I'm at the main gate. Can I see you now? I also ran out of the lecture to meet him. But when I met him, things just started turning around. We went to the bank. I thought he was going to pay maybe for one semester. At most, May thought he's going to pay one semester. That was my expectation. But to my surprise, he gave me seven millions. I was so shocked. Wow. I didn't know what to say. I don't even remember whether I said thank you or not. Because I was so shocked, I held the money, but I was just shivering. Mm -hmm. I just thank God for Aliga's family. Mm -hmm. I thank God for NTV. Yeah. I thank God for you, David. <laughs> and I also thank God for Stephen. He's from Makerele. He's the one who wrote that, who, okay, who prepared that story. Yeah. Huh. Wow. In case you have just joined us and you're wondering, well, well, where is this touching story coming from? Um, her name is Nanyanzi Justin. She's a student at EUCU. She washes clothes and um, does fellow students' coursework so that she can raise money for her tuition. Well, uh, now she's not raising that for her tuition anymore. Well, she's raising money for other things. Maybe she wants <laughs> a new hairdo or that. Because <laughs> as of Saturday, we have a receipt here. 7.592,000 Uganda shillings. 7.592,900 Uganda shillings paid. That's almost 7.6 million Uganda shillings. Right. That is the receipt we have here. Her tuition for the next three semesters, which is going to be your that's tuition paid, all of it. All of it for the three semesters. And you're done with school. Yes. You see, um, that's good. This, this, this is just, just taking a look at the receipt. There it is. You see the amount? Yes, it's paid. Full. We didn't pay the bitundu bitundu here. She expected at most a semester to be paid. Justine, let me just try and tap into your experiences. Of course, since you joined campus and you waking up to the reality that you know what? I need to do this myself. I need to make sure that I stay in school. It doesn't matter what I do. I have to work out, work, 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 and work in the clean way. Where did you get this motivation from, your, your, your hunger and zeal to want to go through school? Where is this strength coming from? The strength for going to school. Of wanting to stay in school regardless of you know the challenges of not having you know the school fees. Many who are your colleagues, I'm sure, have their parents who pay their fees. They never struggle with fees. But for you wanting to say that you know what, I'm going to wake up every single day at four AM, I'm going to wash clothes, I'm going to do coursework for you know my colleagues to ensure that I pay my school fees and stay in school. Where is this zeal and strength coming from? First of all, being a firstborn in the family, it just showed me that I have a lot of responsibilities to handle. So when I saw that I'm almost dropping out of campus, I just knew I have to look for a solution. I tried my level best. I remember in second, second year, first semester, I wanted to withdraw out of school. Like, just registering for a dead year, then I go and I don't know what I was even planning because at first I thought of killing myself. But again, when I told my friends, they were like, No, Justin, you cannot do that. And I thank God because He brought that that idea of sharing with others. Mm. Me, I used to keep my secrets, I couldn't even tell my roommate, I could keep quiet. For the whole day, I rather, I don't know, I rather sleep. 
than going to a friend to tell her that I'm passing through through this and this situation. Mm -hmm. So I used to keep it for myself. But when I realized that I'm going to die, and those days I remember I, I used to get those dreams, dreaming when I'm dead, what, such dreams. So I just knew I'm going to die. Then I decided to tell my friends, all of them, I used the WhatsApp group for the class. And I told, I told them, you know what, me, I'm passing through this and this situation, and I've decided to just kill myself. Mm -hmm. They were like, no, Justin, we can hope, and indeed they hoped mm -hmm. me. So this semester, I didn't want to disturb them like begging last semester it was too much mm. we walked from one hostel to another looking for for tuition for what we tried and they were there for me mm. that is bplm two, bplm three so this semester i didn't want to bother them i knew they were in semester three and it is so hectic so i decided to just look for a better solution right and that's how you got to washing clothes okay um justin fast forward now tuition has been cleared True. 7.6 million uganda shillings um the alingas family we um i'm speechless um thank you very much and may god reward you my God reward you. Thank you very much. Um, you've seen the tweets. Uh, you've seen people on Facebook, right. on, on, on Twitter. People are very, very grateful. Thank you very much for the kind heart. Uh, but moving forward, now the tuition has been paid. Mm -hmm. You say you're still going to wash. <laughs> what are you washing for now? For now, I just want to earn that clean money. Okay. Okay. There we go. You're just hard working. She's, she's just a hard working. Girl. As you come to a close, your what can you tell other young people who are struggling, cannot get you know fees, but really want to go through school? Just talk to them. Camera three is yours. That camera over there. As you come to a close. Okay. Before I talk to them, I would also want to thank Madam Comfort and Mr. Duncan. That's the Tomohame family. They have indeed helped me. They gave me an. I don't know, it's a gift that I should go to a certain station and it is in campus mm. and get all my handouts for the whole three semesters. And de indeed, that is a good offer to wow. me. Yes. Give, 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 give the, your, your fellow students that are struggling some advice. To my fellow students, I just advise them first of all to trust God. It's only God who can help you to open your minds. It's only God, no one else. Mm. Even if people advise you, but when your minds are still, I don't know, when your minds are still stuck, you can't think of anything. It's only God who can open your minds. And then, another thing, don't keep, stop keeping your problems as secrets. Share them. You should share your problems okay. with others. Okay. Sharing is caring. <laughs> if you've just joined us, Reality on the Ground, today we're p following up on a story that we did on Thursday for Reality on the Ground where we went to UCU in Mukono to um, pay a visit to Justin who uh, is washing and uh, doing coursework for um, her fellow students so that she can raise tuition. Well, she's not raising tuition anymore uh, because Aliga's family cleared all her tuition uh, for um, school, so now she's at least tuition free now she's just a hard-working lady that has decided well I'm not giving up on the fight I'm still going to wash uh, so that I can raise money and do other things thank you very much to Barclays for supporting us without them we wouldn't be able to um, go to Mukono and cover this story and help uh, Justin Nanyanzi here this is what they call journalism with that with change mm -hmm. journalism that brings a change in life and it's 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 very beautiful uh thank you very much justin thank you. Uh, we wish you all the best and uh thank you very much for sharing that story and we hope that it um, inspires uh, someone out there reality on the ground powered by buckley's and morning at ntv good morning Watch your local press for details on how you could win the
Premier League experience of a lifetime. Coming soon on NTV. NTV presents another exciting must-watch drama series. In the beautiful capital of Uganda, a hotel chain has been running for decades. If you don't show composure and stability, the business will not survive. You understand that? It's time for the man himself to hand over 